there, VC. I'm back for another vinyl update. Uh, these are some dollar finds from my local flea market yesterday, and as you can see, I got new glasses. Happy about those, and they're very cool. And I um, just wanted to come on here and and uh, show you guys some finds. So first, I have some Elvis uh, cassettes and a DVD and a couple CDs and a 45 I was missing. This is on the Red RCA Victor of Canada. And this is uh, If Every Day Was Like Christmas from 1965, I, I think. Next up, I have uh, the four CDs that I picked up. First up, we have the Complete Aloha from Hawaii. Next up, a cool one that I've uh, always wanted to get. This is Elvis the Home Recordings. So this is uh, a lot of home recordings that he did. A lot of gospel songs and uh, some good good versions of some songs and I don't ever see these these uh, studio album CDs even though I know they're kind of common but not for me I don't I don't come across them and um, these are from late 80s and uh, we have this was absolutely sweet to find the 1957 Elvis Christmas album on CD and I'll open it up here and there's that and uh, this a great record, uh, the second album from 1956. They sound pretty decent. Uh, they're not anything uh, better than the records, but uh, that's okay. Now, a cassette I was super happy to find. Uh, I've been looking for this one from Elvis Presley Boulevard, Memphis, Tennessee, 1976. Those are from Goodwill. And uh, that's awesome to find find those uh, Elvis cassettes at Goodwill. I don't usually show cassettes, but I, I, I buy so many. But I just have so many that I that it would take a whole video to just show cassettes. Upgrade of the Blue Christmas. And I also don't find any Elvis movies out there. So when I see them, grab them. This is from 1968 Speedway. So that was good. And uh, let's get on to some vinyl here these were these were all a dollar except for the first one I'm going to be showing you um, we have the Beatles with yeah 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 this is uh, from Germany on the Odeon label um, I cannot distinguish what year it's from it's from it's a 70s pressing um, or an 80s pressing even maybe from 81 I'm sure someone will correct me but um, I can find a lot of versions of this, but not on this light green Odeon label. And if, and also, there's different uh, versions. The blue writing, the purple writing, I don't know. But it's a great record, and it's just in beautiful condition. For the price, I wasn't too worried. $10, you can't go wrong. Then we have a live album from Supertramp. This is Supertramp Paris. Shout out to Craig Vinyl. I know he really likes them, and I don't care that the cover's water damaged, because... Records are great. We have a Little Richard album on KTEL. And then uh, Dead or Alive 12 inch single in the shrink wrap. This is a great song as well. I've listened to all of these and I really enjoy them all. There we are. And another 12 inch single on Def Jam. This is Orange Juice Jones with The Rain, a song I've heard before, and uh, it was nice to get it on a mint 12-inch single. Next up, uh, this has a little bit of water, water damage, but I don't care. The record's again mint. And uh, this is Ringo Starr, and I've never seen this album before, and I really like Ringo. I'd say he's my favorite Beatle. You know, I just like his music. I like his solo music as well. Didn't have any of these guys on, on uh, LP. I do on 45 and on cassette. Uh, this is the Isley Brothers. This is a great record, and I highly recommend it. It's in great condition. Upgrade in mono to the Dean Martin uh, Christmas album. So that was awesome. Now, who needs the $400 uh, George Harrison box set when you can find his albums for a dollar. Find an album by him for a dollar. Here we have Extra Texture. In great condition with the original inner sleeve. Great record and uh, I don't I don't mind paying a dollar. 
then we have a great record here from Conway Twitty. This is kind of a greatest hits compilation kind of thing, and it's got Slow Hand on it. Uh, that's a great track. There's so many good songs on here. Another Conway I didn't have, and uh, my collection of his is growing very quickly. I can always find him for a dollar here, and I love that. 12-inch single to uh, Culture, Club. Culture Club with Time. I'm not sure if this is promotional. I can't... I can't... Uh, I haven't read it. I haven't read on the label yet, but uh, there it is. There's the back. Now, um, these were... These were, this is some country, so, um, yeah, if you don't like country, um, just skip past or whatever, but this is the, this is the rest of my finds here, and, um, some great stuff, I actually got these probably four months ago in a big collection, and I'm just slowly cleaning them and going through them, you guys know how it is when you buy big collections, um, Ernest Tubb and the Shrink, I really love Ernest Tubb, like, I, I love it, that's on DECA. We have another one in the shrink wrap. A couple of these were sealed, and I opened them up and uh, listened to them and enjoyed them. Then we have uh, Ernest Tubbs' uh, favorites here. Again, in the shrink wrap. Just the greatest hits. Uh, why not? Now, the rest is uh, some Loretta Lynn and a couple others. You've all seen these Loretta, Lynn's al Loretta Lynn albums before, and you know they're just wonderful. And I know Billy Hurst, shout out to you, and, and Audiophile777 will know these, and all the other country fans in, in the vinyl community. Uh, Fist City, of course, classic. This is a very early one. It's a great record, and, it, and uh, it's in great condition. You have this beauty of an album. This one here. Then we have a couple Merle Haggards I didn't have for my collection. What a what a great record right here. As well as the next one. This is very awesome as well. And uh, this was sweet. This is on Vocalion. This is Waylon Jennings in the shrink wrap. And it's in just beautiful condition. It's some early recordings as well, so it's really nice to have this. The last one, I have uh, Webb Pierce. This is some just, uh, you know, mainstream kind of kind of country from the, I think this might be from the late 50s, early 60s. So there's that, uh, VC. It was a short update, and I'm sure I'll be back again with another video. I hope you all are doing well and um, enjoying your videos and all your refines. Take good care.